Travis McDermott, Vegas Vet, um, back for another episode. Today we're going to be talking about a dirty subject. We're going to be talking about anal glands. Um, for those of you not familiar with these glands, um, dogs have uh, two pretty smelly um, glands that are basically right underneath the skin near the anus. Um, when you go to the dog park and your dog is walking around and the other dogs go around and smell the behind, that's what they're smelling. It's a scent gland. Uh, it's meant to mark the feces whenever they go to the bathroom and when they go to the bathroom a little bit is supposed to come out and that's how they mark your territory. It all is supposed to smell different. For the dogs they all smell very bad. Um, it's a very kind of metallic -y iron smell, um, very distinct. Um, and so if nature works properly that's supposed to be expressed, that little sac is expressed every single time um, that they go to the bathroom. Unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't happen. We don't really know exactly why dogs start needing to have this gland cleaned out, but they do. Um, not all of them, but some. And uh, basically what happens is that you either go to your groomer or you go to us and uh, we squeeze that gland to empty it out. Um, it's not one of the most glorious parts of the job, but it is essential sometimes. If you look in this picture here, you can see that there's two small sacks at about four o'clock and eight o'clock that have a tube that connect them right to the external opening of the anus. So these glands are important, like we said, because they can get filled up. Um, signs that they're getting filled. Oftentimes you'll see dogs scooting around with their backsides on the ground. Um, and uh, you know, it's a similar motion to what some people think of when they have worms. But they're trying to express that gland because as it fills up, the pressure starts to hurt a little bit. Um, now, the other thing that we worry about these guys is they can get so full that it can actually cause it to become an abscess uh, with infection and it can rupture. So that requires a surgical fix to it. So we do see that sometimes. Now, questions often get, can this gland be removed? It can, um, but it is a pretty involved surgery because there's a lot of nerves in that area that are very important, such as the one that controls the ability to control going to the bathroom. Um, so one little wrong move and we can actually cause them to become incontinent uh, for the rest of their life. So most of the time we manage it with expression, like I said, we usually have it expressed at a groomer who squeezes from the outside or at a veterinarian's office where um, we actually digitally insert a finger and squeeze from the inside. There are some things that we think that can contribute to having difficulty expressing this gland. Um, as they get older, we see that the consistency of it changes from more of a liquid to more of a kind of toothpaste solid material that can sometimes cause it to get blocked up. Um, obesity can cause it because it makes it more difficult in the conformation changes. Um, diet, we think, may have a play a part, so I'll often recommend increasing the fiber content in dogs that are having problems with it. So that explains a little bit about what anal glands are, where they're at, what to look for when they're full, why they get full, and, and what we do to fix it. So if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Um, I hope you like and share our video, and uh, check out our, uh, our YouTube channel and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day.